Welcome to Math 142. My name is Chuck uh, Devangie, and I'm going to be your instructor this quarter. So, uh, like I said, welcome. I want to do a quick introduction to the course, a quick introduction uh, just using WAMAP in case you haven't used it before. So, uh, like I said, my name's Chuck. Uh, I've been adjunct here at Wacom for over 20 years. Uh, I also teach in the Bellingham Public Schools. I'm currently at, at Bellingham uh, High School. So. Here is uh, what WAMAP looks like as you as you log in. I'm looking at the student view, so this is the view that you should be able to see, and I'll, I'll go back and forth between them. So as you can see, uh, we have weekly uh, pieces, weekly modules out. There's stuff to do almost every day for this course. Um, this is not a self-paced course um, entirely. I have, a, I have a recommendation for when things should get done. I also have, um, there are due dates, <laughs> so and you can always work ahead. And actually, it's not a bad idea to to get a couple things done beforehand, uh, before they're actually due. So here is uh, the structure. You can see the weeks. I try to release things uh, two weeks ahead of time. I will release things two weeks ahead of time in case you want to work ahead. Uh, the only things you can't do before the due dates are the are the midterm and the and the final. So weekly lessons, here's what they look like, the structure. Week one's a little, a little funny, uh, a little different, um, but here's the idea. And you've probably already looked at this because you're watching this, this video. Uh, so it tells you things to do week one. Uh, things that are like this, these are um, topics out of the, the book that there'll be uh, lectures out of. Lectures are uploaded here, and then there's uh, problems to do out of the, uh, out of the out of the text. We also have quizzes and forums just about every week. Um, there'll be a prompt for the forum. Please make sure you're writing to the prompt and it is your writing, um, not just copy and paste it from somewhere. I want to know what you think about it. Uh, and then you have to respond as well to another person's, at least one other person's post. And then we have practice quizzes too. I'll talk a little bit about quizzes and such in a moment. So that was week one. And uh, if you take a peek, Week two, similar. Those are the lectures for the for the week. Uh, there's a forum, and there's some some quizzes, a practice quiz, and a timed quiz. So let's uh, look at resources. So in resources, this is where you're going to find the syllabus and the printable calendar. Notice it's a printable calendar. I'll probably say this more than once. Print that calendar, um, then you won't miss any due dates. So let's take a peek at the syllabus. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but I do want to do some highlights on it. I imagine it will load here eventually. All right, so there's our syllabus. Whoops. Sorry. And uh, there's my email here at Wacom, but I think it's best if you message me. Um, using WAMAP, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So lots of stuff about the course, a couple things I want to highlight. We do have a midterm on Tuesday, October 24th. We have a final on Thursday, December 7th. Those are hard dates. Um, there's a lot of other stuff on here. There's a calendar that I'll show you uh, shortly. Uh, green to scale, that sort of thing. So here are the categories that your, your grade will be determined on. Uh, what percentage of the grade each of these are. So midterm final, that's pretty straightforward. Those are online, online tests that you'll take. Um, let's talk about all the pieces. Homework is not graded, but it's practice. You really should do the practice. This is a performance class. Uh, make sure that you can uh, perform on it. Uh, the midterm and the final online tests. Uh, what I do on the days that they're due, I open it up at 8 a.m. and it must be completed by 10 p.m. Um, there's a two-hour sitting for each of these, so it's a two-hour test. That should be more time than you need. Uh, I try to make them so they're not ridiculously long. Um, also, I strongly recommend you submit your scratch work. Uh, this allows me to look at your work, see if there's just an arithmetic mistake, give you some partial credit. Just take pictures of your work and message me and while I'm with it. Sometimes there may be a question that says you must su submit work to get credit for it. Make sure you do that so you get credit for it. All right, we have forums, and I'll talk briefly about those. We also have practice quizzes. Together, they're 15% of your grade. Uh, practice quizzes are not timed. Uh, you can just work on them as long as you want, uh, until up until the due date. 
and you're allowed multiple attempts, up to four on each practice quiz question. So it's really good practice. Um, and then forums, post and reply. Uh, practice quizzes lead into timed quizzes. Practice quizzes are really good practice for the timed quiz. Um, time quizzes are timed, they're two hours long. Um, you get, you actually get uh, three, let me see, yeah, you get three attempts per each problem on the time quizzes. Um, this is good, really, really good practice, uh, both of them, to help sh just kind of, and it's a little bit of accountability for yourself, making sure that you are good on things. A couple of little rules of thumb. Uh, when in doubt, round to three decimal places. If it doesn't tell you what to round to, round to three decimal places. Uh, and this part right here, super true. Uh, I am, I am, I will work with you. There's an auto grader. I don't trust the auto grader. It's not perfect. So I will always go back recheck the quizzes, make sure you get the, the points that you deserve. And if you have a question about something, just message me and we will uh, we'll figure it out. Sign up for WAMAP, all that. I don't think there's much else in here. Okay, I'm gonna close up the syllabus. And you can look at that in, in your, uh, as you get a chance. And there's a printable calendar. So here is the, the pacing for the course. This is, um, this is something that is worth printing. So if you'll take a peek at this, this is everything for the course. Notice there's the midterm, there's the final. So the way that I've tried to structure this, put my glasses so I can see, um, 6.1, that is the lecture for 6.1. So on Wednesday the 20th, or by Wednesday the 20th, you should be watching that lecture and doing the uh, practice final. 6.2 is that lecture. So it's the, it's these bold, just number, blah, point, blah, is a section out of the book with a lecture attached to it. Uh, anything that's italicized is a due date. So week one forum is due here. There's the, the, the first practice quiz is due on Friday, but you can always do it before then. These are both due 11.59 on the date that they're on the calendar. So uh, don't, uh, don't miss it. So you should not miss anything, any deadlines, uh, if you print this out and pay attention to it. Uh, messaging me. So I'm gonna go back to this. So I, I'm gonna go back to the top. So I'm gonna change this to my view. And if you can see, I've, I've laid out, like the course is laid out, the, all, all the information's there. Um, if you wanna message me, go to messages, and um, you can just say send new message, and You'll choose me, or just type my name, blah, blah, blah. Here's what I really like about WAMAP, is we can type math in here. So um, if you look at this add new math, you can click that, or you can use, um, let's see, the little dash, the little tick for it as well. So if I do this, if I go like five plus square root of seven, divided by pi. If I type that out, notice if I arrow out of here now, it'll turn it into math. This gives us a really good, powerful tool that we can, um, we can communicate with each other uh, around math. That's one of the things I love about, about using, using WAMAP. So message me that way. That will be the fastest reply. If you message me through Canvas or if you message me through, uh, through my Wacom email, it will probably take a little while longer. I have, I have this program up open on my desk all day. So, do, do, do a couple of things. If you go back into resources, there's a section called uh, typing math symbols in WAMAP. This is just things you can type, ways you can make these displays happen. So this is just a nice thing to see. We enter that math text into it. Um, also, I have questions for the instructor forum. Post questions here. I will answer them away or you can message me. Sometimes people will message me with a really good question and I'll, I'll actually end up posting my response in the forum, in the questions for instructor, instructor forum because they're good questions and I think everyone will benefit from them. All right, uh, that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, everything, if you end up with questions, again, message me anytime. I'm here to, uh, to help you get through this course. That's, that's what they... Uh, what they keep me around for. So please message me. I will work with you uh, with needs that you have during the quarter and um, print out that calendar. So uh, 
don't miss the midterm, don't miss the final. It's kind of embarrassing to have to uh, have to get tracked down by your instructor and say, hey, you missed it, sorry. Okay, like I said, message me, I'll work with you. Here's to a good quarter.